how you doing? Third take on this video. Boy, this is a mouthful right here. You did a good bit of research. You got a lot of information on this song. Learned quite a bit about this record. A standard on my fantasy playlist, September 29th, 1981. Coming in at number 13, Sheena Easton. For your eyes only, from the James Bond flick, the 12th James Bond flick. The score of this film was written by Bill Conte. The lyrics, or at least most of the lyrics, were written by a guy named Mike Leeson. Bill Conte, you might remember, he wrote that score for Rocky back in 1977. Remember that tune, We're Gonna Fly Now? That was pretty cool. Bill Conte back in 1977, coming back for another encore for this, for, for this James Bond movie, rather. Now, um... Let me try to put my thoughts together on this record. See, here's the thing. Bill Conte, he wrote this song when he composed the, the score to this record. He had Sheena, not Sheena Easton, he had Dusty Springfield in mind. Donna Summer. He thought of Donna Summer. They fit the Bond style. But the film company, United Artists, they suggested Sheena Easton. And for good reason. Because in 1981, winter, early spring of 1981, Sheena Easton seemingly came out of nowhere, went to number one with Morning Train. And then Modern Girl came after that in the summer, late spring, summer of 81, went to number 17, 18 on Billboard's Hot 100. And at, and at the end of 1981, Sheena Easton had another hit record, uh, You Could Have Been With Me, which went to number 15. And For Your Eyes Only in the fall of 1981. And... Uh, Bill Conte, he listened to Sheena Easton's debut album, and he was unimpressed. He said, "This no, I'd, I'd much prefer Dusty Springfield. Dusty Springfield, Donna Summer, they got it. They got that Bond style. This woman, I'm not so sure. She's a newcomer. I want to go old school with Donna Summer or, or Dusty Springfield. But then he met, he met Sheena Easton, and he, and he decided to work with her. For Your Eyes Only, went to number four on Billboard's Hot 100. Now, this record, let me just read this out to you, because I can't say it all in one go. Uh, she's the only artist to be shown singing the theme song to the opening credits of a James Bond film. She and Easton. Very sensual uh, credit opening. Michael Bender, the guy who was in charge of the credit sequences, he, he was impressed with her parents, and she was very sensual. As a matter of fact, Roger Moore, the star of James Bond, the, the movies, he thought, man, she is just incredibly seductive. And Roger Moore thought, she's even sexier than the Bond girls. And I remember being pretty impressed myself. She just looked absolutely gorgeous. Something incredibly sensual about this video. This is just Sheena Easton. And, uh, but Sheena Easton, she thought, this is just so unglamorous. Because at one point, uh, Michael Binder, I believe his name was Binder, B-I-N-D-E-R, Michael Binder. Now, I don't know how he did this. He either chained her or taped her or tied her. He attached her to a chair so that she would, ha so that Sheena Easton would be absolutely still immobile. She had to be immobile so they can get a close-up of her lips. And you'll see that close-up in this opening credits on the video itself. But anyway, that's the stuff of hit records right there, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Sheena Easton, for your eyes only, at number 13, Fantasy Playlist, September 29, 1981.